Hello, everyone, and welcome to the STL Tech Talk hands-on full review of the Nokia Lumia 635 for AT&T's GoPhone plan. It's blazing fast 4G LTE. Thank you again, AT&T, for allowing us to do the review on this wonderful phone. So looking at the box here, plain Jane box, but uh, well, on the inside is what counts. So opening up the box, we have the device. Underneath of it, we have the charging cord as well as the charger. Now the charging cord for the Lumia 530 was a little short and I was pretty happy with the results on the uh, USB charger cord for this particular device, the 635, so pretty excited about that. Opening up the box, we can see we have the instructional informative guides uh, kind of getting you started and all that stuff and uh, hooking you up with all the relevant information. But let's talk a little bit about the phone in general while we're pulling this stuff out. The main camera has a five megapixel camera. Now, it doesn't have a front facing camera, but well, that's gonna bother some people, uh, but it's not gonna bother everybody. This phone is designed, and I really believe this, this phone is designed for people who use the Lumia 520 and would like to maybe upgrade, or uh, this is a first smartphone for somebody. This is what your parents or your parents' parents is gonna use for a device just because of how easy it is to use and how well made it is and, and how well it's gonna last. Plus, it's a great phone for kids um, that, you know, it's durable, and I think it's gonna withstand a lot of, uh, a lot of you know, friction, a lot of drops and things like that. I, I really do. It's a really well-made device. So looking at the rest of the phone, the display size has a 4.5 inch screen. The resolution is 854 by 480. So it's not a 720p, um, but it has a Snapdragon 400 processor. Maximum talk time on 3G is up to 16.4 hours. Also, the standby time on 3G is up to 17.3 hours. The battery capacity is an 1830 milliamp battery, so that's pretty good specs there, um, considering that the previous design had an actual smaller battery. But this is actually running Windows Phone 8.1, so that's a really hot. It has Cortana. A lot of cool features we'll show you here in a minute. But... Microsoft has done away with, and Nokia, that for that matter, has done away with the actual capacitive screen uh, buttons and moved to on-screen buttons for the back, home, and search functionalities. So that's pretty cool. The height of the phone is roughly 129 millimeters. The width is 66 millimeters. The thickness is about 9.2 millimeters. It roughly weighs 134 grams. Um, also, some of the other cool things about the uh, display is it does have Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and Lumia Color Profile with wide viewing angles. It has a uh, true color display, 24-bit, an aspect ratio of 6 by 9, a megapixel density, uh, excuse me, a density pixel for 221 PPI. Display technology is clear black, IPS LCD, so you can use this out in the sun and it does a really well job. The only thing here, looking at the store that I want to point out application, is it is only running 512 megabytes worth of RAM, so it's not a gigabyte. So that's going to limit you on what kind of applications you can download from the store. The touchscreen technology is capacitive, multi-point touch, has sensors that is an accelerometer, so it does have that. Um, it has a user input touch, volume rocker keys, which we saw earlier, um, and it doesn't have a dedicated camera button key, which was kind of interesting, but hey, uh, we have to move along here in the Windows phone side, so no more of the, the dedication uh, Windows, or excuse me, camera button key. It has a SIM card. It also has a micro SIM. Also has an expandable uh, micro SD card slot for up to 128 gigabytes, so that's really nice. Comes with onboard 8 gigabytes worth of storage, has AV connectors, a 3.5 millimeter audio connection. It has USB 2.0 and Bluetooth 4.0. Bluetooth profiles, advanced audio distribution profile, which is kind of nice. Also, the Wi Fi is WLAN IEEE 802.11 BGN. Wi Fi security modes, uh, Wi Fi sharing, all that is really nice as well. Power management, so you have uh, a bunch of different settings you can control within the battery saver mode. The processor, like I said, Snapdragon 400. Quad core, believe it or not, 1.2 gigahertz. 
has a RAM 512 megabytes, mass memory 8 gigabytes, expandable storage, again, 128. Free cloud storage that comes with AT&T, 15 gigabytes. It has productivity stuff on it, like your Microsoft for Word, Excel, PDF, PowerPoint, OneNote, Exchange with Active Sync via Windows Phone apps, uh, Nokia Photo Transfer for Mac, Sync content for your calendar, your video, your pictures, your music, your contacts, Xbox Live Hub, a Direct X 11. It has obviously the Windows Phone 8.1 with Lumia Cyan on it, which is really nice. So just a lot of really great features packed into a small phone. And here's the camera now, just showing you off uh, some of the different uh, camera quality of the, the pictures that it takes. It's really nice, even though it doesn't have a flash, and that's going to bother some people. I still think that it's a really nice and really well-made device, uh, and it's it still has its place among the uh, new smartphone users. Also, uh, you can have exchangeable uh, back plates. So if you're not happy with the black color, uh, there's green, yellow, blue. There's just a bunch of different really neat colors I think a lot of people are gonna like. Here's the back plate off of the phone and you can see here the battery as well as the micro SIM card slot and the micro SD card slots. So very cool stuff here. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. I was really happy to get a hands on with it. It felt really good in the hand. Um, uh, nice, sleek, and, and slim. And I really think, like I said, it's going to have uh, a real big impact with people who are really wanting just a, a good, solid phone that they don't have to put a whole lot of money into That's they're going to be able to get a lot of stuff out of. They can use Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, WhatsApp, um, Nokia Beamer, OneDrive, share on TV with the Nokia Play to DNL, or DLNA app. Uh, also your, your Facebook and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it can turn into a Wi-Fi hotspot and have up to eight Wi-Fi enabled devices on it. So a very useful, very uh, underappreciated device. So I think you guys are going to really like it. So thank you again, AT&T, for your uh, continued support. And thanks for the loaner of the device. And we'll have more info on the site. Mm -hmm.